All right, ladies and gentlemen, here's the code of ordinance of the city. They try to make think it's a law. Well, after you try to see law or ordinance, it's actually me law and regulation. And they, after all, law is a regulation. I'll show you in a minute. I'll show you the penalty if you violate the ordinance, what they say. Because they can't betray that law. This is this stuff right here that recently just passed in the ordinance. They cannot betray an ordinance as a legal law and throw you in jail for it if you disobey it. Because it's all a civil matter. Bring this up, see if we'll get a better, clear picture. You guys can read it. Now, here's the Chapter 94 Park and Regulation Ordinance. All what they got listed here. This is all what they got listed. We're not focused on that. Right now, let's focus on camping, the ordinance. It's right there. Under camping. Now we're going to do the fire uh, ordinance right here. I want to bring it up a little closer see if you guys can be able to read it. Now here's the penalty, 9.0. Uh, 94.99 the penalty read it. It says it right there It's a civil offense What they saying is they, they give you a ticket if you don't, in a civil offense. Since it's a civil offense, a civil offense, that means if you don't show up to court, they all make one in your favor because you're not there to defend for yourself. But if it's a criminal matter, then they can issue a warrant out for your arrest. Because practice what the site says, it, it's a civil matter, not a criminal. That means they don't have no authority to tell you you have to leave the river without a court order signed by the judge. If you want to go look up these regulations, I want to show you. You go to City of Covington's website. And I believe it's under, let's see, let me do something real quick. It's under uh, Government and Code of Ordinance. Now, next time they try to run you guys off your spot in a public area, and they try to say you're trespassing, that's a lie. If they try to say it's camp, it, you can't camp or build fires on a river, they're a bullshit lie. If their ordinance is not law. They, they cannot enforce something that ain't law. Stand up, fight back. They ain't gonna throw you in jail, they can't. Only time they can throw you in jail if you freaking um, got warrants out for your arrest and um, you, you doing breaking the law and stuff. Or the only time they can make you run you off your uh, camp if you are trashing up because that's illegal that's just a, a misdemeanor but that's a crime any crime you commit it right down at your camp then it can run you off but legally they can't just come up and say you have to leave your camp if you're not breaking the law let's we'll see what else i want to say oh yeah under the fourth amendment you do not have to show your id to them not unless you are a suspect of a crime and they can't just say they suspect you of a crime. They have to prove proof of evidence that you did it. 
prove that you did a crime before you could uh, hand your ID. If you refuse, refuse, refuse them, they cannot throw you in jail. Like I said, well, we could detain you and throw you in jail until you identify yourself. No, that's a bullshit lie. You only uh, obligate to identify yourself. You're, you're a suspect of a crime or you are going to go to jail. When it, when it comes down to tell you you have to leave your camp, to tell them no. They can't throw you in jail for it. Alright YouTube, signing off. I'll see you on the internet.